I am the co-founder and managing director of uh, XGENS Limited. This is a University of Manchester spin-out. I did a four-year uh, research degree in the University of Manchester School of Computer Science. Based on my project, we developed this company. Our main focus is requirements analysis. And requirements analysis is um, the first and most crucial step in software development, in the software development process. It starts with gathering information from stakeholders or documents, manuals, reports, emails, and extracting the information in a way that is useful for the software development pro uh, process. What we found is that actually over 80% of the information that they need for the software development process is contained in textual documents. The actual analysis process is very time consuming and inefficient. XGENS has developed a technology based on artificial intelligence to help the analyst to extract the required information and structure it faster, more efficient. Before I started my PhD, uh, I was working in um, IBM in uh, Bucharest. I was working as a, as a consultant. I noticed there were a lot of change requests brought to the contracts after the initial uh, contract has been signed. So basically what this means is that during the project the customers will, would find out that they need to, they want something else, they need something to be changed. And all these changes brought to the initial contract, they, they, change the, they change the project, they have an impact over the project in terms of time and cost. When I started my PhD, I always had this, the, these things in the back of my head, I was thinking about them. I was just interested in finding maybe a way of um, making this process a bit more efficient. I attended a seminar in the university. At that point I found out about UMIP. They were just saying, hey look, if, uh, if you have an idea and you're curious about the commercial potential of your, of your research, you know, just uh, get in touch with us. I always had this uh, idea of starting something of, of my own, seeing how you know, my previous experience kind of went into this project. They were really helpful, uh, they were really supportive. They offered support for market research, support for developing a patent as well. The biggest win was the people that I got in touch with. Networking was quite big. UMIP rallied behind me and kind of pushed me, pushed me through. Last year, we entered a business competition called Venture Further. We were very, very fortunate to win first prize in this category. The award uh, has definitely allowed us to further the, the, the business. I'm centrally involved in this in the startup. The day-to-day -day activities are so diverse. It's never just the one thing. It's it's always different and it's always challenging. In a day, for instance, I could be dealing with finance or or accounting uh, in the first part of the day, and then deal with technical and software development in the in the second part of the day. And those are just two things at opposite ends of the spectrum. I'm actually being surprised every day now, uh, learning new new things. People that believe in, in this idea, we've grown quite a bit. You need to put in a lot of effort and a lot of time into it. But it's, it's slow, but it's steady and it's, it's developing. I never really thought that I would be getting as far as I did when I initially started. It's a tremendous learning experience. In the future, development is the key. Business development, customer development, product development, getting uh, the image of the company set and then going out and reaching out to potential clients. It's been a great journey. I've learned a lot over the past three years. Just go for it. If you're thinking about it, definitely go for it because until you try, you never know. Even if the end point is not what you wished for, the journey is definitely going to be worthwhile. Overall, this is a, this is just an amazing or a tremendous learning experience. <laughs>